So here's a 24-bit floating point number. And this question is asking you to convert it to its binary equivalent. And it's giving you some information. It's telling you that the, bit, the bits are split up into a mantissa and an exponent. 16 bits have been allocated to the mantissa and 8 bits have been allocated to the exponent. To tackle this question, split it into three steps and keep track of the steps. And if you do that, you'll have more success and you'll feel more confident about answering this type of question. So let's split it into units of four bits to make it easier to work with. So we've got one, one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, 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 one, one, zero. Now let's check that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fours are 24. So that's us got them. Make sure they're correct. So it's one, one, zero, one. Zero, one, one, one. And then one, yeah. So I'm happy with that. Step one, find the sign of the number. Now to find the sign of the number, you need to use the signed bit. The signed bit of a floating point number is the first bit, the bit on the left of the number. So let me put a dotted line around the signed bit. So this is the signed bit. It's counted as part of the mantissa, but it's not used to evaluate the value of the number. Its only purpose is to tell you the sign of the number. Is it a positive number or a negative number? So if it contains a 1, that means negative. And if it contains a 0, that means positive. So this number is a negative number. So this number is negative. Okay, so that's the first thing done. We've identified the sign. Next is the exponent. And it tells you here we've got 8 bits for the exponent. So the bits for the exponent are always on the right hand side. Here is the 8 bits. Easy to see because we've split them into two nibbles. So this is a byte, isn't it? These 8 bits. Right, so this is the exponent. And we've got two things that we need to do with this exponent. The first thing is we need to identify the sign of the exponent. And then the second thing we need to do is then evaluate its decimal value. To evaluate the sign, we need to identify the most significant bit. And the most significant bit is this one here. It is the one with the highest place value. And because there's 8 bits here, this one is 2 to the power 7. This has got the highest value. So the actual value of this bit tells you whether or not it's a positive or negative exponent. So this is the most significant bit. And it's... MSB for short. You've probably, you'll see that in some theory notes and things. It's written as like that. So if it's a zero, that is positive. And if it is a one, then that's negative. Now, unlike the signed bit, the most significant bit is used as part of the calculation for the value of the exponent. We can identify here that this is a positive, okay, so this is a positive exponent. And that tells us a couple of things. It tells us how to move the decimal point, but it also tells us how to convert it. 
because it's not negative, we don't need to use two's complement. We can just deal with this as if it's just your regular binary. So if we put down our place orders, um, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2, 2 to the power 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, and then put the number in, so it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So we can see that this is 4 plus 2, so the exponent is 6. So the exponent is 6, positive 6. So we've got the sign and we've got the exponent sorted out. Now we need to sort out the mantissa. So let's write down what we've got so far. 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, times 2 to the power 6. All we need to do is put in our decimal point and it's 6 places so we can move this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places and put decimal point in there. The final answer is one zero one zero one one point one one. Now is that as finished? Always at this point go back and check out your solution steps. So we've put the mantissa in, we've sorted out the exponent and the sign, but have we added the sign to our answer? Now we said this number is negative. So make sure you put your negative symbol in front of it, otherwise your answer will not be correct and you will not get a mark. Okay, good.